entire career, but actually, you you're familiar, right? Up with New York? Uh, yeah, a little bit, but okay. not as much anymore. Yeah. Um, I just know him from like back in the day. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, Doctor Doctor Lobster. Um, maybe for like the the online kids or the Yardigans or whatever might not know Doctor Lobster, but Doctor Lobster was definitely like top 100 precipice for many many years. Yeah. Around like 2016 to 2019. Um, I think Dr. Lobster from New England, but then mm -hmm. moved to New York for law school. Yeah, because I knew him during uh, New England Melee days. Yeah. When he was always on that PR. Mm -hmm. Always a terror for a many, uh, a doo doo sigh or a yes, yeah, hysteric right. or something of the sort. That's right. And Dr. Lobster, really fast, very clean, like uh, one of the first plup likes. You know, after, yeah. after plup gave us our first round of, oh, she can be cool and fast. Dr. Lobster, Juicebox, J. Mook, I thought, of the Northeast. The Northeast is crazy, though, for all the Sheiks, because you also have, like, the the J crew with, like, J not J Flex. Yes, that's right. I think there's a third. I don't know the third J, but. Uh, J Salt is in Louisiana. OK. Maybe, but um, the, And then you also got, I mean, up there you got Quiet and Zanya. Quiet, and Quiet is at the top of that list They're now for Northeast next. for me. Oh, yeah. Especially since J-Mook's not there anymore, so. Mm. But we got uh, Sheik Falco. On the other side is Fool. I like the tag Fool as to truncate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Dr. Lobster, go for that <laughs> that cheap stuff. Go for the up smash in neutral, but I mean, it it'll catch you. Yeah, it'll catch you. And actually, that rising nair, which caught, which uh, was the kill, is just a hard read that Falco is going to jump. Ooh, wow, runs off with the rising fair too. That was a very vulnerable up B charge height from Falco. Yeah, and, and I think what Fruel just needs to take away from this is like, you're just learning things to adapt from now. You know that if you are trying to recover in an unsafe potential like way at all, uh, Dr. Lobster is going to take you out. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it is really scary because you're in a spot right now where you need to be collecting the data on how they like to go for the edge guards, which means playing really slowly <laughs> off the side. Reverse fair, come on. The shield play into the reverse, that was so nasty. Oh, my God. Name of Taylor. Oh. Go for it. Ah. Uh, ooh, Dr. Okay. Lobster isn't crazy. Oh, I like the needle there. Big percent. Fool backs off. Oh. Fool, I think not seeing the spots of vulnerability that Sheik has when she goes out like this, especially with those like far in drifts uh, that Dr. Lobster's going in neutral. Ooh, empty land to grab. We'll see. That's oh. it, yeah. Catches with a needle too. Four stock again. Fruel was thinking a little bit there, though. I mean, we were talking about you have to take the time to, to learn what to adapt to and mm. in, in reaction to. And we saw when Fruel was like vulnerable off stage at a high height, uh, they, they used uh, the shine stall to, yeah. because they knew that Doc Lop was going to throw a needle. Right, 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 right. You have to kind of even go further and further beyond, like go to your last resources to gather that data. Um, even with that shine stall, like, Sheiks have to prep for that, too. Yeah, it, 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 it looked pretty good to start there. Um, the up smash does catch there. Dare goes for the reverse fair again, I think. I like that little dash dance on the platform. Gives you a couple of options on what you'd really like to be doing and reacting to the tech without all of that suspense. You know, you can go for the dash attack if you want. And if you miss it, you can just run off because you're already in your dash. Ooh, I like that pressure on the shield too. Oh, patience there. Knows when to now, you know, when is Sheik vulnerable? I kind of think it's right here. Get a wait and shield and then attack afterwards. A crazy needle there. That's a Sheik vulnerability too for Falcos, but you gotta be crouching. This is a spot, and I think Dr. Lobster has correctly honed in on Fool not holding down on a lot of these aerials, and so they become safe. Dr. Lobster, ooh, I like that moonwalk. Getting a little cooking and a shine turnaround down oh, here too. Gets stuck on the platform. I think Fool was feeling himself right there. Yeah, get moving. I, th I like the Dreamland pick for this as well, because I do feel like, hey, we weren't moving quite as well as we needed to. Early pool on Saturday. I gotta get warm, so give me that space. Oh, fails the, Ooh, the timing a little bit. Jump there, yeah. Uh, is able to clean it up, you know, two seconds later. That's the first stock. The fool's taken. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah. And, and I think it, it was like legitly, legitimately, they fought for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Drift back as well from Fruel. 
But yeah. Dr. Lobster smothering. And since the recovery game here, it is so hard for Fruel to do anything off the ledge with how oppressive Dr. Lobster is. It's almost like you need to have some form of a ledge dash or, or something. And yeah. I think Fruel's just not there yet today. Uh, maybe doesn't want to risk SDing. And, and that's fair, right? Yeah, yeah. I, it, But a player like Dr. Lobster, in order to upset them, you really, it's every piece of the game plan needs to be there, defensively especially, because uh, without that, Falco nice. loses a lot of the advantages that he has on the stage and can't really get openings, so you don't get your 80% or so. Yeah. Dr. Lobster going out there, strong edge guard. If you're not able to get the counter hit or the reversals on Sheik with uh, Crouch as Spacey, then you don't get your damage. Yep. You just straight up don't get any of your 70 to 80% combos that Fruel actually did end up finding that did turn into kills uh, because those scraps in the middle there were always going in the favor of Sheik. Yeah, it almost just seems like a little bit of piecemeal uh, or piecemeal there from Fruel yes. where they get maybe like one or two, uh, like you get a shine into a dare into maybe another dare and like that's the combo, that's it. Yeah. You get a three piece. Yeah. No sides. Like that. Oh, that's right. No drink, neither? Uh, I don't know. The four for four, you can get one drink in there, I think. And you know the four for four? You got, you have, do you still have the four for four? We don't have it anymore. They changed it again, didn't it's they? It's a five dollar biggie bag. Ah, oh, that's crazy. But man. also, the five dollar biggie bag, it's only five dollars on specific. I'm not gonna. Wait, I, I get. <laughs> the people in chat who know what we're talking about know what we're talking about. Pre press one if you're mad. Press okay. one if you're a biggie bag hater. Where are all of the deals? Yeah. That's a good deal from Dr. Lobster drifting in, going out. I mean, you were talking about like ground play, right? Where mm -hmm. it was. Just from the get-go, if they were two equally skilled individuals in that matchup, um, if they did not take advantage of holding down, it, it, ground game was almost impossible to, to come out ahead, even yeah. if you trade every single instance. Yeah. That is just Sheik favored. Without utilizing um, ledge play to their advantage, it was almost in, like every single time, I think he ended up off stage. Uh, Dr. Lobster just took him out. Like I think every yeah. single one yeah. was a conversion. Yeah.